Hello everyone, welcome to 3rd and 4th Retro Games. Today we'll be walking through the process of installing the PKGI app on your PlayStation Portable. If you're wondering what the PKGI app is and why we're talking about it 20 years into the PSP lifecycle, well, is it dead? It's dead, right? They don't make, yeah, it doesn't, the life cycle's over. Anyways. Well, as you know, there is no PlayStation Store for the PSP. The only way to install your games is to either plugging in your PSP or SD card to your PC and transferring them that way. Now we have a way to store games wirelessly through this app. So let's get started. There are three links you will need to download. All of these are in the description below. The first one is the PKG app and it's pretty wild. But I did this a few nights ago and it's on version 1.0. I think it was 0 0.8, three nights. Crazy. Uh, the second link are some text files. And the third link, honestly, I have no idea what these are. I just know it's needed. All right, now that we have all those wonderful zip files in our download folder, let's extract them. The first two are going, the first two that you're going to extract are the PKG file and the text files. Highly recommend deleting the zip files when you're done with them. It just keeps everything kind of neat. Now take those text files and copy them into the PKGI folder. Next, take your PKGI folder and copy it to your PSP. And once it's plugged in, you go to PSP, Games, and then you paste. You might get some pop-ups ask, you know, asking you if you want to do this without its properties. Just say, yeah, I do want to do this. Why does it show up? Again, I have no idea. But if you're watching this and you do know, Please comment and let us know why. We'd love to know. All right, last file to extract. You know what to do. Extract that bad boy, delete older files, open a new folder. Inside you will find a PRX file, copy it, to your SE plugins folder on your PSP. Now, if you're puzzled, don't worry about it. I didn't have one of these, I didn't have this SE plugins folder either. So honestly, all we have to do is just create one. So create a, a that folder. Now we're going to create some text files. You will need a game and VSH, not VHS. VSH. I've seen some PSPs to have a pop text file as well. I created one just for the funsies, but really we only need the game and VSH. Those are the two we're going to modify. Now, Open both those uh, both those files, and in the description below, there's going to be a, um, a text file, a string file that says MS0. That is what you need for the PSP 1000 and 2000. Those are the two I've done. Now, if you have a PSP Go, the only difference you have to do um, here is instead of having an MS0 file, you're going to have an EF0 in the beginning. 
All right, now it's time to unplug our PSP and get to work. So first, I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video that you need a modded PSP to do this. Yes, I know, I'm sorry, I should have led with that, but just pause this, search soft mod PSP, tons of videos out there. I, it should have been the first one I've done, but I'll do it just, I want to. I'll, I'll do the video. Don't wait for me though, I'll do that. Okay, first step or second step, um, go to your power saving settings and turn off the WLAN power save. Now hit the select button and then go to recovery menu. Then go to plugins. You should see the two files that we added and edited. Hit X on both of them to enable. Go back and then go to reset VSH. Your PSP will restart, don't worry about it. And there's the sound of nostalgia. That's it, we're done. Ah, one more thing. Your PSP needs to be connected to Wi-Fi. That's a given. Um, the part that isn't a given is that you need really old tech to do it. Newer routers won't work. Um, I went to my garage and dug up my old Airport Extreme, I think it's the sixth generation, and connected it to my wireless router. When setting that router up, the Airport Extreme, I did the WPA wireless protocol. It's the only way your PSPs are gonna work wirelessly. It's that old. Um, I'll leave some links to where you can purchase some. I don't get a kickback from that. I don't know how that works. I'm just here to help you guys out. Okay, back to PKGI. Once the app starts, you'll be able to download any PSP game uh, to your PSP. You can filter by regions, sort by names or files. Another heads up, downloading takes a while. It's much quicker to do the whole plug in and play thing, but it's why not? I can download games wirelessly now on my PSP on, in 2024, but big files take so long. I think a 1.3 gig is like two hours. I don't, I don't have two hours. To, I guess I don't have to sit here. Anyways. Uh, well, here we are. I just downloaded Angry Birds wirelessly onto my PSP. What a time to be alive. Friendly reminder to please like and subscribe. It does help out the channel a lot. Also, my videos will always be ad free. So if you want to help with an extra life, please consider going to my Ko-Fi coffee page. I don't know how it's pronounced. Someone. And you can support me through that. It's always appreciated. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day. See you next time.